Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Marianne Lasanti is the Maryland state legislator who used the N-word to describe a legislative district in the very prosperous and majority African-American Prince George's County just outside of D.C. Yesterday, the Maryland House of Delegates voted unanimously to censure Lasanti. Earlier this week, she was stripped of a committee chairmanship. However, Lasanti says she will not resign, even though both Democrats and Republicans have called on her to step down. <laughs> uh, Eugene, <It's> <laughs> how, how can it be? Or is that, I know you don't want to hear this, but is this more Trump era stuff? I'm not saying you defend everything he does, oh, but enough. where <laughs> you get just flat out busted and it doesn't even matter now. You just say, I'm sorry about what happened and keep on going which, on with your business. Which I think is crazy. Um, which I think is crazy. Uh, Delegate Lasanti is a you know, Democrat delegate from Hartford County. Um, the Republican governor, Larry Hogan, has called on her to resign. The lieutenant governor has called on her to resign. The Dem leadership has called on her to resign. They stripped her, stripped her of all her committee slots, her leadership slots. Um, you know, the squeeze has really been put up, being put on her, um, but she's uh, refusing to resign. Uh, and, and, you know, she's taking the northern route of, oh, hey, you know, that'd be the easy way out. I want to, you know, actually do something and hire somebody. And um, everybody's looking at her like, Look, listen, you, you took it to the nth degree, lit you know, literally. Um, you know, there's... There, there are some things that could be ambiguous and misunderstood. Using the word nigger and calling it a nigger district that's is right. not misunderstanding. I mean, that's that, that's, right. that's the universal word that you that that, that you that that you know not to use. If if you can understand not to cuss around your grandparents and parents, you can understand not to use that word drunkenly in the bar. It seems like it's everything goes right now, though, CJ. Isn't this the time where the voters really have to step up and demand an action? Well, I think the voters of that particular county in her district should do a recall, if they're able to do a recall. Um, and I think she needs to be primaried. The last result, if the voters choose not to do that, I think you put pressure on in asking the Speaker, the President of the Senate, and the Governor to withhold funds for her district. Mm -hmm. And then when they don't get any taxpayer money back in their district for their particular projects, then they will put pressure on her to go quietly. Perhaps what people don't realize is that this county is one of the most progressive, one of the most affluent, and one of the wealthiest for people of color, uh, for mm -hmm. black folks in the United States of America. Be wealthy. And that's what she had to say about it. Well, I mean, she's from, I and mean, she represents Hartford County. I mean, which is where my, you know, which is where my parents live, actually, yeah. you know, ironically enough. I mean, they grew up in the area, so they went back there, but this is not out of the norm for Hartford County. I mean, she yeah. will speak that way of a district that's very affluent. I mean, think about how she talks about districts that aren't that way. I mean, if you're talking about that, if you're talking smack about uh, PG County, right. you know, which is very influential, which has had a lot of success and mm -hmm. a lot of development and brings a lot of cash to the state of Maryland. Yep. What she say about a district, far flung district, or a pocket of that district that doesn't have that kind of wealth? And the other thing that it sort of strikes me as is the Republicans are saying a lot of the quiet parts out loud right now. I mean, it's almost as if the filter has been removed. I mean, earlier, the Meadows segment, I mean, that was kind of tasteless, you know, a little tasteless thing to do. Um, we're also talking about uh, Hogan and those. It's like it's all coming well, she's out of the Democrat. Open. Well, she's a Democrat, she's a Democrat. but. Yeah. I mean, even so, Hartford County is no bastion of progressivism. Oh, I, I, I agree. With you. And, you know, <laughs> and, and people on that conservative end, I mean, apparently Democrat, you know, Democrats can do it too because it happened yeah. in the State House of Virginia. Yeah. You know, but the one common denominator that they all have is that they're white people of a certain age. This is true. And that's the one thing that makes the, the, the sort of progress that we've having in the last couple of years really look like it's scraping against the establishment no matter what race you are you are going to have to cede some power especially to the new black women that are on the, the on the uh, house of representatives now in a strong county system of government is there no vehicle for gov for action by the governor so no um at least not in maryland uh, maryland you know maryland governor doesn't have the power to remove somebody um the the i do know that there are that the legislature is looking at potentially push, rushing a bill through uh, to to give provider recall vehicles, Maryland also doesn't have a recall vehicle. 
um, you know, if she were to step down, a local Democratic Central Committee would provide the governor with three uh, nominees to pick from. Okay. But is it likely that she is going to step down? I mean, well, it's not, like, well, not like saying make think, me. I don't she, think she's going to step there, down. There's nothing, there's, the, the reason that they censured her is because she refused to resign. Right. And, they, you know, they didn't, wouldn't even allow her to speak to her. You know, and, she, weren't, and she put up with the censure. Yeah, she put up with the censure. And so, it's not you know, going anywhere. Today, today the, uh, the Legislative Black Caucus and other leaders stood up and, you know, made another call for her to resign. And being that she's resisting it, there's a lot of discussion now about pushing through a bill to allow for recall elections in the state of Maryland, which there are none right now. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Martin.